Hi Eunice, this is your video request on how to work with the fire sprinklers and the piping command in Revit. Um, I have a Revit file open. I have an RCP with some sprinkler heads that are at a specific height of 9 feet because the ceiling is at 9 feet and you can see them over here in the 3D view as well. When you are working with the pipe command in Revit, if you're drawing the pipes just from the command itself and not tying it to a fire sprinkler component or any kind of component, you should be able to just draw them in general. So if I use the pipe command right here, it'll give me the ability to specify the diameter that I want. And in this list is just the default um, and what you've added over time. So if you need a specific size, you can pick the one you want like this, or you can type in uh, the size you want. And then you can specify the elevation as well. So the elevation for the ceiling is at nine. So I'll set the height of the sprinkler runs to be say, I don't know, 11 feet should be more than enough. And if I draw the pipe, I can just click and drag and it draws the pipe. And as you can see, I can do this and it draws it without a problem. This is a manual method of drawing the pipes. Okay, and if you switch this to a, a fine level of detail, you can see the thickness of the piping. If you draw the pipes where you're changing the sizes as you're drawing the pipes, that's just a matter of you drawing a piece, then changing the size that you want to something else, then drawing the segment, and then changing the size that you want, and then drawing the segment, and it will build it. And if we look at this in 3D over here, you can see it's building it and it's, it's putting in the fittings necessary and resizing it necessary that it needs. Okay. Now, if you're drawing the all the pipes from the standpoint of from the actual sprinkler head, if we do this in plan or in 3D, let's go over to 3D view. And I select that sprinkler head. You can see it says there is a connector already there that's built with a half inch. So if you right click the node and say draw pipe, you can draw the pipe whatever elevation you want. It defaults to 9 feet because the sprinkler is at 9 feet. So I'm going to switch this to 11 feet to go up and hit apply and it goes up and it draws it at half inch diameter because that's the default of the sprinkler head. Now you don't have to assume that that's what you want uh, for the size. So let me go over to the next sprinkler head. And if I click this sprinkler head and I right click and I say draw pipe, it again still defaults to half inch, but I can still click here and say three quarter and do this at 11 feet and hit apply and it should go up and show you a size of three quarter inch pipe. So if I select it, it says three quarter, see? And even now I can still change it to say one inch pipe and it should change. So if you're trying to draw the pipe and adjust the size, it should be that easy. If you're trying to draw the pipes from the standpoint of laying it out manually and you don't want to use the automatic layout feature, then just draw the pipe. Like let's say I have a branch that's coming across like this at 11 feet. And I have a main branch coming across that's here like this. And then... Um, Maybe we have one over here, and then we have one here just for the heck of it. Now, obviously, you're, I'm not a fire protection engineer, so I can't really design it to be efficient without the tools. But this is for the purposes of understanding the tools within Revit. So I can pick a sprinkler head and just use this connect into command and connect it each, into either this um, branch here or this branch here. So I'm going to connect it into this one, and it does it. So I can do this manually for each one and it will build it. So I pick this one again. Uh, actually, this one was already built. And so I'll pick this one. Oh, that one was already built too. Those were the two that we played with earlier. So I'll connect it into this one and not enough room. So I'm going to hit cancel and then pick this and say connect into this one here. And it works. See? So you have to look at it from the standpoint of how you want to draw it and how you want it to connect to a branch 
will dictate what kind of tools you want to use. So here in this situation, if I try to click this and do connect into, it'll probably fail on me again. So if I click this, I can hit the plus symbol, turn that into a T. And then I can right click and draw a pipe from there. And then draw out to whatever I need, say that node right there, and it'll draw it. If I look at it in 3D, you'll see it's drawing that one piece, see, and it came down and drew it. So it just depends on how you're drawing the pipes and how you're approaching it will dictate how it will want to, you know, build it. But you should be able to, your, your root question and problem about drawing the pipe at the specific size you want shouldn't be difficult. You should be able to just click the node, say draw pipe, put in the size you want, <clears throat> excuse me, put in the elevation you want, hit apply, and it should build it, see? And if I go here from the node and try and draw it into this piece here, it'll probably fail on me. Uh, in this case, it didn't because it allowed me to go at an angle. I was hoping and I was expecting it to go perpendicular. But as you can see, it still works. Um, I hope this video um, request uh, and video that I made for you helps you understand how to use the commands in Revit to draw the pipes for your fire sprinkler. Okay? And if you still need help, just let me know. Thanks. Bye.